But Holland America next mm. with a gorgeous cruise from Rome over to Venice. Another five star luxury cruise. And here's our Keith. He does get out and about, doesn't it? Here's our he Keith does. <laughs> to tell you more. Amidst the huge choice that's now available within cruising, Holland America Line offers an experience that's quite unique. It's premium class, but not pretentious. It's elite without being expensive. And with a proud history stretching back over 140 years, Holland America Line is perfect for the discerning traveller who loves to see the world from the comfort of an elegant hotel at sea. Known for the most extensive menus at sea, served gracefully in elegant restaurants. Thank you. Holland America Line offer a plethora of excellent dining options. In the main dining rooms, guests may choose from fixed or flexible dining times, and the service is always gracious and the menu both varied and delicious. Fans of Italian food will salivate at the offerings from Canaletto's, and everyone will enjoy the steak and seafood of the wonderful Pinnacle Grill. Enjoying a few drinks in the company of friends, both old and new, is one of the highlights of any cruise. For some, it might be a glass of bubbly or a tasty martini in mix, whilst for others, a pre-show tipple in the ocean bar will be just what the doctor ordered. Whichever location you choose, expert bartenders will remember your preferred cocktail or they'll help you discover a new favourite. Holland America's latest trump card is On Location, which brings the ports you visit alive through regionally inspired cookery classes, artisan workshops and local entertainment. You can experience steel drum lessons in the Caribbean or Tai Chi classes in Asia or a legendary ketchup dance in Bali. The evenings on board glitter with so many choices with live music, thrilling stage shows and the ever popular Dancing with the Stars at Sea program. Bored? <laughs> Not a chance. It's about getting the little things right, and nowhere is this more obvious than the accommodation. All Holland America Line staterooms have premium plush Eurotop mattresses, 100% Egyptian cotton bed linens, extra fluffy towels, and deluxe terry bathrobes. Recent additions include innovative massage shower heads, lighted magnifying makeup mirrors, and stylish hair dryers. And of course, your complimentary fruit basket. <laughs> It was quite Apple a day. Spell, <laughs> <laughs> but again, stunning five star luxury ships. Um, and one of the most beautiful itineraries, actually, because this starts off with a flight over to Rome, doesn't it? Yes, can't beat Rome. Absolutely beautiful. And then you're going to go to the port and embark the ship for 11 nights cruising. So, day two, you'll be cruising through the Straits of Messina and you'll arrive on day three in Valletta in Malta. So, immediately, if you picture sort of winding streets, limestone battlements, castles, as you can see, it's really interesting architecturally and historically as well. And in fact, at Malta and the buildings like this have appeared in lots of films, and you can see yeah, why it would be a really yeah. good location, can't you? Um, and yeah, lots of things to go and visit, like the Grand Master's Palace. Um, and again, one of those places you could just walk around the, the sort of entrance of the harbour, and it's beautiful. You see all these colourful boats and you know, cannons, and it's a fabulous place. Then day four, you are at sea, so you might be in the spa or who knows, having a swim. And then on day five, you're going going to arrive in Kefalonia and uh, you've got a really beautiful cobbled promenade here sort of fringed with palm trees all along the harbour. In the early morning you'll see the local fishermen bringing in their catch and it's just again one of those lovely places to stroll around and take it all in. And then day six you are sailing to Corfu and you know just dream up a wish list. What would you want from a Greek holiday? You've got it here, you've got that talcum powdered sand on the beaches, you've got beautiful forests actually, it's quite a lush place again, um, a, and a historic old town that you can explore, and hopefully lots of lovely sunshine as well. So it ticks lots of boxes. Day seven, we are off to Dubrovnik, uh, which, this is a lovely itinerary actually. It is, isn't here, it? Yeah, yeah, really, really nice. As we're going through it, I'm going, oh, this is lovely. Because Dubrovnik's a great walking city, particularly for people who really love a bit of culture and history. Loads to see, but a nice place to relax as well. It's a very gorgeous spot. You've got the sparkling Adriatic Sea, but also that medieval era old town. Um, it is walled. You could walk all the way around it. It's a 1.3 mile stretch, so very doable. Um, yeah, lovely place. And of course, in the southwestern corner of Croatia as well.
Right, day eight, you are off to Couture in Montenegro. Um, one of the most spectacular places to sail into. As you can see there, you've got this, it's like the fjords, um, and you've got this really long waterway heading into it. So if you're up with the lark, you could maybe uh, have a look, you know, and if you've got a balcony, it would be really beautiful. Um, worth getting up for, and I don't say that about much. <laughs> um, and then Couture is also full of little shops and restaurants and churches, it's really pretty. Day nine, you're going to Korkula, which is a, a, an island in the Adriatic, um, sort of vineyards and olive groves and little villages. And then day 10, you're off to Split in Croatia. And uh, you've got this sort of beautiful Riviera, um, really pretty. Um, and very intriguing sort of historic sites as well. You've got a palace which goes back to, it's like 1,700 years old. And then day 11, you are off to Venice and you've got an overnight on board in this stunning city, which actually I'm going to talk about later because we've got it coming up in another cruise but as well. I, I tell you what, isn't it nice though, just, you know, to be able to spend some decent time in Venice? Yeah, like just a few I hours. mean, I think everybody knows without me even having to say anything how romantic uh, and lovely that would be. And, and, and again, this is with Holland America, five stars. Start luxury on board the Zawa Dam. The price dropped today, which is again is why we're featuring it. The ID number, by the way, on the screen is 81805. Every cruise has its own ID number. It just makes it easy when you book, of course, and speak to our cruise consultants. But if you've never been on a cruise before, just look at these images. You know, when you see these gorgeous bars and the theatres and the piano bars, and this is all included, Gemma. I know. I mean, you'll love the days at sea just yeah. as much, sometimes if not more, than the ones that are in those wonderful destinations because there's so much to do. And it's almost like a floating city, isn't it? You know, you're in your own little world and it's just wonderful. Well, I, I you know, I, I booked my first cruise seven years ago and I've been very lucky. I've been on nearly 20 now and I've been very lucky, but they are amazing now a new reduced price this is what this show is all about down to 999 pounds per person per night uh, we do have some on board to spend on the 11th of july should you wish to go for that date as well return flights from london gatwick but really important uh, you know if you see any of the deals tonight and the, the the airports aren't too good for you we will generally speaking provide flights from most uk airports again just give us a call talk us through we do have a, an alternative 11 night sailing um, available from Venice to Rome as well. Again, please just call us uh, for those details. Now, price-wise, um, the upgrade, particularly on that first day, the 14th of April, Jeff, for £100 more, you can actually go for an ocean view. Yeah, I mean, and, and you know what? When you've got some destinations like that, it's really, really worth it, isn't it? So you can have a look as you glide in and out. Um, and just looking at that, I know we've already sold out the brand on the 20th of May, but we have got good availability throughout those dates and various state rooms available as well. And don't forget, we would love you to stay in touch with us here at Planet Cruise. You can either sign up to our newsletter, you can call us now to get your free copy of our journey brochure, or you can check out our brand new website as well. And it really is a fan fantastic website so user-friendly with loads of really really great information